dudes and dudettes of YouTube land. This is take number three, but well, we're going to get it done today. Yes, we are. Okay. So after I've done the first two, I've thought about something I wanted to add in. I want to show you guys my little wall. It's not special. It's just my wall and I'm proud of it simply because it's, it's mine and, and I own it and I took the time to clean it up and rearrange it and Peterbilt Knife Guy said it looks cool so I guess it looks daggone cool guys. Okay, so this is a cold steel competition throwing hatchet. We're going to go ahead and measure it out just to give you guys an idea what it's working with. We're not going to be very scientific but we're going to go ahead and get it done guys. What are we looking at here? We're going to call that 16 inches. How tall is this? We're going to call that five and a half that's a man's five and a half and you guys know what i'm talking about don't act like you don't know what i'm talking about that's a four incher what's the width we got about a one inch like i said a man's one inch okay that's about that i don't know how much it weighs i believe i believe it was um uh, i was told it was regulation weight that's what uh sean at edgeworks told me uh, Edgeworks is the place where I buy all my knives, all my hatchets, my machetes, this, that, third, fourth, and the fifth. That's where I get my knives sharpened at. That's where I get my knives fixed at. That's where I get my handles wrapped at. Here's the knife that I had handle wrapped. Yep. Okay, guys. So we're gonna um, I'm gonna show you guys my little wall, my war wall, whatever you wanna call it, before I get started on everything else. But before I do that, check it out. Absolutely cool, right? I know it's not special. I know it's nothing. But it's mine. And, and I'm pretty freaking proud of it, to be totally honest. See, I got to use a trash can to keep the height. Whoa! Who in the... Who is this dude? Hey! <laughs> Alright, everybody. Let me stop goofing off. Matter of fact, I'll never stop goofing off. It's just who I am. All right, so check it out. I've thrown this thing, I'm going to say, a couple hundred times for sure. A couple hundred. For for sure, a couple hundred. I know you guys are like, dang, stop moving this freaking camera around. Well, I can't because I'm cause I'm Frank. That's why. You know what I'm thinking about doing, guys? I'm thinking about letting that sit like that and dropping like a melon on it or something on a video. I'll put this somewhere and just drop the melon off the balcony and see what happens. That's what we'll do. So here's my burnt handle. It didn't come like this. It actually came like this. The reason why this is wrapped is because when I first got it, my first day, my first time throwing it, my first initial throwing, I don't say my first time, but my first initial throwing, I uh, put two uh, hairline fractures down the, um, down the handle. No big deal. I was reassured by Steve the Saw Grunt and by Addicted to Blades. I'm sorry, I can't remember his name at the moment. But um, they, they both had explained to me that this is going to happen. You know, when I broke the tip of my knife, Steve told me, it's part of the game. It's not your first tip you're going to break and it's not your last. And it sure is not my first tip. I broke my Kershaw Blur tips, every single one of them. Every I've owned five blurs in total. I broke every tip. Oh, I'm lying. I got a, like a lime green one with uh, CTS BDZ1 steel. And I haven't broken the tip on that. I don't know. I mean, I don't know why. I just haven't. I haven't gotten around to breaking the tip on it, I guess. Or maybe I've wisened up and I no longer try to open things with my knives like that anymore. I just, I, I got a little smarter, guys. What can I say? Look, see, now I'm, I'm guilty here. I took uh took a hammer to it and was beating it through this right here. I made this right here for Peter Built Knife Guy. Look at that nice smooth. I'm not gonna do that on the screen, guys. Knock it off. Nice smooth handle, you know. <laughs> Let me knock it off. Anyway, so um basically all I did to get that pattern was is I took a larger version of this right here. It's a butane torch, and I just torched the hell out of it, guys. And, uh, I mean, I didn't hold it on extremely long, but I had the heat crank and it was making a hell of a ruckus. Um, it's really easy to do. I suggest you guys do it if you guys want to make a cool pattern. I originally, you can kind of see it. Look, here's my cross hatchings. Just to see if I could get, like, the Viking pattern. And I decided, you know what? I don't want the Viking pattern look. I want it all done. I'm going to replace this handle. 
Um, Edgeworks, I believe they ordered me in some uh, replacement handles. Not like specifically just for me, but for the shop, you know what I mean? Because they, they carry countless hatchets. This has got a good wrap, and I actually like this wrap. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when I use this for like, look, for tasks, let's just say, this for instance. Not that I'm... Not that I have done it with this, but you know, you can get up in there. You know what I'm saying, guys. That's my knocker. This is Peterbilt Knife Guys right here. I made this one for him. I think I just said that. Golly, I must have nervous energy right now, guys. Whoa. Okay. Slow it down a little bit. Slow it down. Slow it down. All right. So I, I have, um, I don't have a lot of experience with throwing knives. I'm working on it and I'm getting better as I go. And I haven't been practicing every day like I originally was. I'll admit it. I need to practice more because if I don't continue to practice, I'll never get better. Um, I don't even know where I'm going with this video other than to say I just wanted to show you guys this. I wanted to give you an update on it. I want to give you guys some content because I had 30 minutes of content I thought I was bringing you guys last night. But <laughs> unfortunately, I... um. Yeah, that didn't work out. So, I'm going to go ahead and do me a quick shout out real quick uh, before I end this. Sorry it wasn't the best video, but it's just a, it's a what's the point EDC type of deal. You're going to get it how you get it. Okay, so I want to shout out Peterbilt Knife Guy. His latest video. It's a wholesome video, guys. you got to go check it out. It's him with his son just out with the boys that's just what it is it's the two it's the two boys out having a good time and when i say boys i don't mean he's a he's a grown-ass man you guys know this. he's with his son it's cool they're out there with their knives they're out off the water they're enjoying themselves it's a very cool video guys go check it out he's got his bad ass tops longhorn just beast of a knife i think it's a bowie knife it's got it's got a good recurve in it I'm babbling on that. I'm babbling on So just go check it out. Go check out Steve the Saw Grunt. Go check out Addicted to Blades. Go check out Big J's Knives. Go check out Boston Blade Reviews. Speaking of, so last night, Big J, Boston, they uh they had Steve the Saw Grunt. They brought him on a live. Excellent live. You need to go check it out. If you haven't seen that live, go check it out. It was yesterday's live. Good stuff. It's the Happy Hour Live Chat, HHLC. If you ever see that on screen, know that that's their live. Okay, guys. I'm going to stop now for I reach 10 minutes of me just straight babbling because I've got about five videos I'm going to do back to back. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. If you're an addict, never quit quitting. It gets better. This isn't the way it's always going to be. Grab life by the horns because it's yours to do so. Get the help you truly deserve so you can get your best life. And if you're struggling with bad thoughts, please reach out. Talk to somebody. Help us closer than you think. There are so many arms wide open. So many ears ready. There's shoulders to lean on, guys. Seriously, this is not how it ends, but how it begins. So stay strong. Live long. Sharp knives and good vibes. I'm Frank with What's the Point EDC. I didn't show you guys a pocket knife this time around. Here. There you go. There's your pocket knife. That's a neck knife. All right, y'all. Take it easy. Much love. And I'm out. We're going to do it like this. Fade to cold steel.